All right, so this picture is the picture of my practice one, and you can see it's not really smooth and it's not really stable either. The legs weren't even, neither was the neck. All right, so then right here I got the I got my final project with all the dimensions and then cut up and I'll smooth it out. And then after that I did my paint job on it and with metallic gold and with clear coat paint. All right, so here is the here is my second phone holder of. Uh, which was 13 by 5 aluminum and then I just bend it up and here's what it looks like and then here it is with all done smooth it out and with a paint job on it and here it is hey yo what's up I'm making myself a phone holder and this is the one I did for practice and yeah, as y'all can see, like it's not really good, it's really rough, the sides, and they are even, the measurements weren't good, and then here I got myself a nice piece of uh, polished aluminum, and I got everything measured, and hopefully it'll be better than that one, and I'm gonna go get a nice cut on that, and I'll be back. Alright guys, alright so here I am, so I just finished my first phone holder, uh, I got I got it all cut up, smoothed it out and painted uh, with the metallic gold and then uh, clear coat layers on top so the, the golden paint doesn't come off. So here, that's how it looks. I used uh, a wand saw to cut these things out, and then for this thing, like the neck and the arms, uh, I cut that thing with a plasma cutter. And so did this one, the gap on the legs. And here it is. Really good. Hey guys, what's up? Alright, so in order to make this a phone order like this, you would need a 13 by 5 or a nice polished aluminum. That's what I got. You wanna, and then uh, after getting that piece, I smoothed out the edges uh, so you don't get hurt or whatever. And then after smoothing them out, uh, I start I started bending it. So this piece right here is three inches, the base, and then the back is uh, four inches, and then the front is five inches. The whole thing, and then uh, I, I had to bend it so I could. I could put something in there so this is one and a half inch and this is three and a half after I after making that I had to make sure make sure that it was as uh, straight as it could be and then after doing that uh, I got a metallic golden paint uh, I spray painted this thing and uh, then uh, I I had to do a clear coat layer on it so I got that and then did about four to five layers of pure coat paint on this and so the uh, golden paint doesn't come out every time you touch it and here it is the final result nice and shiny